Are you looking for the best remote control cars? In this video we will look at some of the 9 best remote control cars on the market. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Number 1. Toys High Speed Vehicle Racing Buggy Car ATRA 959 Although its design isn't perhaps the most detailed, there's certainly a lot of raw plastic on display, you'll hardly be able to focus on its looks given how fast Toys celebrated buggy can go. Taking full advantage of an RC390 brushed motor, more commonly found on heavier 1 tenth scale vehicles, this thing absolutely rips along, and comes ready to run. All four wheels get decent shock absorbers, so the A959 is just as comfortable in your kitchen as it is careening up bumpy hills. We'd recommend picking up a second 7.4 volts battery just to give you a little extra run time, and keep an eye on its drivetrain. Some owners have found the plastic gearing didn't play too nicely with the torque of that motor. Thankfully, there are plenty of spares, including metal gears, floating around on the market. Number 2. Yosho Initial D Mazda Savannah RX 7 FC3 S 66602. Kyosho is a Japanese manufacturer known for establishing the Mini Z standard. A set of teeny 128 scale cars which replicate real world vehicles and are custom made for drifting. This is a great example of the type, it's not super fast in a straight line, but get it on the right surface. Super low pile carpet and hard floors work best, and it's perfectly balanced to slide around obstacles in style. There's a low speed mode for kids, a stopwatch built into the controller to keep tabs on your lap times and the whole lot runs on AA batteries, which makes switching out for a new set of rechargeables a breeze. The only slight issue is that this is a straight Japanese import, so the instructions may be tricky to understand, though it comes pre-assembled, and there's plenty of advice from enthusiasts on the internet if you want to try modding. Number 3. Traxxas TRX4 Land Rover Defender Rock Crawlers are a great way to have fun with an RC car if you're more interested in realism and control than going as fast as possible, and Traxxas's officially licensed Land Rover is one of the very best out there. It's so packed with features, Traxxas's portal axles give it huge ground clearance and eliminate torque twist, it's completely waterproof so you can go crazy in the mud or water, the servos are an all-metal design and the whole chassis is joined together with a rigid steel ladder frame. You get precision control, too, with everything from cruise control to gearing to diff locks available on the handset. There is a fairly large barrier of entry in the form of its price, but given that you can likely get 2 hours 1 tenth scale trail bashing out of a single battery charge, we think it's worth the investment. Check out our guide to the Traxxas TRX4 vs FTX FTX 5570 Outlaw to see how it compares to much cheaper option. Number 4. CMJ Cars Aston Martin Vantage If all you want is a car for interested kids to trundle around the floor, CMJ's cut price range of 124 replicas is the way to go. They're fast enough for indoor use, they seem to last a long while on their AA batteries and they're no great loss should someone decide to use the stairs as a racetrack. There's a wide selection of car models on offer beyond this neat little Vantage, but we've picked this solely because it's the most affordable of the bunch. The whole range runs on 2.4 GHz controllers with around 25 meters range, which means you can easily get multiple examples racing at once without fiddling with radio channels. Number 5. Tamiya Hornet the Hornet is fast approaching its 40th birthday, and it has hung around in the market for so long by virtue of its brilliance. This is a true classic in the RC world, and the perfect platform for getting started with the more hands-on aspect of RC cars. It's durable, with an ABS resin frame and a sealed gearbox, and it can take bumps and stunts with style packing oil-filled dampers on its rear axle suspension. Note that there's a certain amount of building involved, and this is just the wheels, chassis, motor and speed controller so you'll need to add your own radio, 
servos and battery to complete the kit. Once you have, though, make sure you've got some space to let it run. Number 6. Traxxas X01. We couldn't not mention Traxxas RC hypercar in this guide, because that statistic above isn't a typo. This can reach 160 kph, 100 miles per hour, in 5 seconds from standing, at one point in time, giving it the world record top speed for an RC car. You'll need to find a wide, smooth surface to hit that sort of speed because to generate the relevant downforce this has minimal ground clearance, though the company has also built in traction control to help with cornering and overall control and it can handle rougher paths too if you're slightly more conservative. This is a huge investment, and it's not made for rough and ready jumps and stunts, but this is the fastest RC car you can buy, just make sure you have plenty of batteries to power its big block motor. Number 7. Reva 776 Yale Nitro RC Car 94155 This isn't a car from a known brand. But if you're looking to get into the world of nitro racing it's a very reasonably priced option, it comes ready to run, you just need to add your own fuel, and its 2.4 GHz radio should provide plenty of range. The 75cc engine can make it all the way up to 60 kph with ease, with potentially a little extra on top of that, and if that's not quite fast enough you're welcome to pull this apart and start tinkering. Such is the way with nitro cars. They start as a fast, dirty way to take flight over local parkland, and quickly become a sea of spares, upgrades and tools. Number 8. Lego Technic 4x4 Extreme OFF Road 42099. Another beneficiary of Lego's Control Plus app, which maybe even makes a little more sense here, taking full advantage of the 3-axis gyro in the smart hub here as well as the pair of XL motors and single large motor, means you can keep constant stabs on the extreme off-roader's angle of incline and tilt. If you're taking it to more extreme climbs, or on more extreme climbs, that could be invaluable information, though this is more a builder course and your lounge type off-roader than one to fling outside in the mud. Again, the value is strong considering the number of otherwise expensive components you get in the package and the extreme off-roader's massive side-to-side -side suspension is a neat touch. There's no secondary build included, but there's nothing to stop you employing a little creativity. We're sure its chunky tires will prove inspiring. Number 9, FTX FTX 5570 Outlaw. Rock crawling doesn't have to be expensive but we'd recommend steering away from super cheap cars and starting at the mid-range if you want something that'll work hard. FTX's 110 buggy is a top choice if you can't quite afford Traxx's prices, it's fast enough to bomb along flat surfaces, yet offers fine enough control and big enough torque that you'll be able to hit the hills in style. This particular model comes ready to run, with only a few AA batteries required and includes a waterproof steering servo, but while it'll take a few splashes, the chassis shouldn't be submerged, 